About two years ago, 47-year-old Scott Prest went on statins. My doctor put me on them because of high cholesterol. Considering his age, he was reluctant. But eventually I came around and said, okay, let's, let's go ahead and do it. They're some of the most commonly prescribed drugs. Uh, if you looked at the, the top 10 drugs over the past 10 years or so, uh, some of the statins are always near the top. And their usage is only expected to grow. Under new guidelines, more than 30 percent of U.S. adults may qualify for treatment. It begs the question, what do statins do for us? Statins are really uh, the first group of cholesterol medications that have consistently shown reductions in cardiovascular events. They don't just reduce the number, they actually reduce events. Cholesterol is essential for digestion, hormonal balance, and cell function, but at high concentrations it can gum up arteries. Statins work by blocking production of cholesterol in the liver. The most current recommendations stress treating the sickest and those at highest risk of a heart attack or stroke. Divided into four risk categories, one includes people with greatly elevated cholesterol, defined by an LDL greater than 190. Scott's level hit 400. I tried it, tried using diet to regulate it, and that didn't work, so I went on the statins. A key part of the new statin strategy streamlines the process by targeting people who will most benefit, then selecting one of two dosages. We decide on either more intense or less intense statin therapy rather than targeting a number, which we were doing before. A young patient at high risk. The odds look better today for Scott. I've had blood tests since I've been on them, and my numbers come back better. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.